we're continuing in our crochet series with the double crochet. This is very similar to the single crochet, except we are doubling it. So we're gonna be doing similar moves, similar stitching mechanism, but obviously different because it's a different stitch. So I've chained 12 stitches here. And like I talked about in my single crochet video, when you chain so many, your last single chain is actually the building block of your next row, your first full row of your stitch. So here, since it's a double crochet, it's actually the last two stitches. So we're gonna chain 12, and stitch 11 and 12 are gonna help us build the double crochet. So um, 12, 11, we're going to go into number 10. Because this is double, the steps are slightly different. We're going to yarn over first, then insert. Yarn over again, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two again. And that is our double crochet. So we basically did the single stitch twice in one stitch, like upwards. If that's a terrible way to explain it, I'm sorry, but that's how I think of it. So again, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again. And it's like a long, it's a tall post of a stitch. All right, I'm gonna show you one more time and then I'm gonna finish this row. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, again. There we go, sorry I hit you. Kind of went off camera for that, uh, but that's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten stitches, and it's ten because I changed twelve. These are building my first little bit, and then I have ten. I can always count at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Continue on to the next row. We're just gonna do the next row. And since we are double crocheting, we're gonna chain two to build our height, turn, and then this is our first little hole right here where we wanna insert our hook right there. Now first, you wanna yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull through, three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again. Ah. My hair, sorry. Okay, continue. Yarn over, insert, yarn over. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Stitch, I want to be able to explain it to you. So, here we have the little tiny B. It's kind of hard to see because these are made of chains, but we want to go through 
this little thing and this little thing. So we're gonna yarn over. This is kind of hard. I like to hook it like this. So one half, the other half. So see you have your two through, over, pull through, pull through. Now we're gonna count our stitches. So I like to just pull the yarn out. It kind of keeps me from losing that space. Stretch it, and we're gonna count. And we don't we don't count this because that's just that's just hanging off. This is our actual stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's what we want. Ten. There we go. That's our double crochet. It does create a taller like a more loose stitch because you do have these holes in between the posts. So this is it's called the post of the stitch. And I'll actually have a video later this month um, that involves crocheting around these, which makes it kind of a basket weave pack. That's our double crochet. And thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I appreciate you guys, and I hope you come back for more. Y'all have a good day. Bye.